friends let me give you the uh, topic for the gd then uh, and uh, this is the topic for the discussion today wars are most ruthless for children wars are most ruthless for children this is the topic given to you for discussion wars are the most ruthless for children I give you a couple of minutes and then we start it Okay, so you are ready now? Okay, please unmute yes, each sir. one of you. Yeah. Okay. Unmute. Unmute each okay. one of you. Good. Yeah. Go ahead. Hmm. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, friends. Good I am Naveen Kumar. Uh, the topic given to us today is uh, war are most most ruthless for children. Uh, as we all know that uh, currently war between Russia and Ukraine is going on, and also according to me, it is one of the most relevant topic currently relevant topic. uh war is one of the worst thing that can happen for humanity and as we all know war is never a solution and many innocent people lose their life yes when it comes to children they are the worst they are the worst because they don't know what is going on and they have to suffer a lot 
so uh, this was the uh, topic and now the ask for discussion let us discuss about this yes i agree with you with your statement that can yes i agree with the navin words also and as during wars the most of the infrastructure will be damaged in both the countries if it happens in between two countries so you have to lost allows the schools and hospitals and one more thing is in the wars mainly if the children will lose their parents they become orphans and they face many problems during their growth and at the same time if they are exposed to any radioactive materials they be- their health issues are they get very different health issues for example if you take hiroshima and nagasaki during the second world war the, the bomb is dropped there the, the even today also they face many problems even generations will go uh, yes i completely uh, agree with my friend, friend but yes. i think uh, but uh, these all things are only not dependent on the two countries even those who are hearing the news of the war those who are continuously watching the news and hearing about these uh, devastating events so they are also having uh, this negative impacts on their minds so they are not able to grow up properly they are having nervous issues they feel nervous while uh, walking alone they feel i mean uh, they sc- are scared sometimes and even they fe- uh, face this uh, problems of this nightmares in the nights so they get relent- uh, they don't get proper sleeps and these pro- improper sleep patterns will make their health and um, un- make them unhealthy so these all things should be means they should be means children should avoid these things yes sir yes, many yes, through these wars many soldiers tend to die so uh, many soldiers have their children so these children tend to become orphan and upar a kafi earlier jo responsibility aa jata hai unko khud ko sambhalne ki jiske wajah se wo kafi baar mental problem face karte hain physical problem face karte hain aur unke paas na backup nahi hota ki khud ko sambhal le jab apne parents ko चिल्ड्रेन टू live and how uh, it becomes very difficult for them to get rescued and it it impacts their brain also it it, it makes a childhood trauma for them yes sir yeah, yeah, so just tend to die yes, in the war I so, so, so the children uh, so the children become orphan of the of these soldiers so this have a very negative impact on them and also the after as the soldiers die in the war the main income stream of the families tend to stop uh, they just only get a small part of uh, like a pension type of schemes from the government so the uh, is a uh, uh, economic background of the children also deteriorates very much so they at that time say uh, they cannot afford education and so they generally tend to do some labor work in some small factories small shops like Uh, like becoming a tea uh, tea in a tea shop they are serving tea to customers so uh, means, uh, uh, i mean the education system also deteriorates the infrastructure deteriorates in a yes. war in uh, both yes i agree with you sir yeah. yeah. but i see what we are talking right now we are talking post war war will create everyone is talking about what happens post war but we are not talking that during the war also it is not beneficial like for the kids it is very harmful for them like whenever the war is going on at that that time the very first thing is like they won't even know that why it is happening and everything that is going on they are they are not even able to process the things yeah, they are at that at that exact moment they will be like traumatized <laughs> and they will be asking their parents that why is this happening why is that happening and even when their parents suppose it happens that even when their parents are not dead or anything like that still they will be traumatized for their whole life and if it happens then uh, I, then we have already discussed that what are the things that they will face so yes this is also I will, I will like yes navin i agree with you i agree with you kabhi kabhi jo trauma will create an arrogant behavior in the children and this arrogant behavior will lead to their normalization of criminal activities they will be very much used to the sounds of the gun and all and they will not be means uh, instead of having the fear of it 
they will be like it will be normal for them to this and this will create a bad impact in the society also in moving forward चिल्ड्रेन्स आर becoming like the, this is very normal for our country they think that uh, yes always fighting always war is only a thing that we are born into uh, uh, peace is never a solution for them and so they also tend to um, i mean so they also tend to go into such types of things that always get into getting into fights getting into quarrels with their uh, with their colleagues with their friends so this is a very negative type of upbringing which happens to the children in that country So yes, sir. Samrat. Yes, 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 sir. I want to add one example. Uh, what Samrat is saying. In my opinion, I believe that. Like, like when I was in college, there was one of my friend who was from Afghanistan, and uh, he was from Afghanistan. And one of my teacher asked that, uh, uh, like, there is like terrorist terrorist activities are going on still there in Afghanistan. So how do you like? Ah, uh, उससे कैसे manage करते हुए चलते हैं आप? so he says that ki uh, yeah like we constantly live in the fear of that and whenever our parents go out like it's it's just a normal thing for us ki ya papa ya mummy gaye hain bahar to pata nahi wo aayenge ya nahi aayenge uske sath hi jeena seekh jata hai to wo bachpan se hi waisa ban jata hai aur isse matlab unka education jo unka education start hota hai that was also from the age of 6 and 7 like we we start our education from 3 years or something like that so ye yeah, they never bachpan, get the affection yeah. of their yeah. so parents so they they yes, always yes, no, no, left alone i agree with you navin and i should also add one more point to this that this maybe in terms of early stages कंट्री फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग there is nothing left or everything is deteriorated the children are now left alone so it if we see it, uh, a whole so war is ruthless for the children also but it actually uh, decreases the growth of the country also for some period of yes they yes, can we agree with you when we see the wrong side one more point here so side that we see that they can be easily and they can be support and what is for the children are there also but they yes we can be I I want to add one point to that. I would like to I would like to add one point to that. Uh, children, the wars are hopeless for the children. In that we see that in last week. I want to add one point to that. For the children, yes, in last week when we see the news, because it is very quickly into war में induced किया जाता है. और वेपन्स के लिए और वो जो वेपन्स हैंडलिंग है वो सब उनको नहीं आता. और वो जो जब वार में इंजर्ड हो जाते हैं. तो वो जो इम्पैक्ट है उनके लाइफ टाइम रहता है जब कोई किसी का हार्ट पैर कट गया फिर कोई नीम जगह कट गया तो जो और मेंटल ट्रॉमा वो जब इतने जल्दी यस दिस इज अ करेक्ट पॉइंट बिकॉज़ If someone's parents die in the war, then they uh, develop Went a very hatred towards the other country. They think that they they are the criminals of my uh, of my father and mother. So uh, they develop al- already a hatred towards the other country. So if uh, a bunch of these people die. then there if then these many children will develop a hatred towards that country and if go yeah, and then yes, if samrat i agree yes, with you and i should also add if, one more point that if they group together then these tend to form a terrorist make organization make them use them to make them as they expand their groups for example you have some negative groups that they use these children in the early stages and they feed them with in a negative thoughts they inject and at the end they become very negative impact to the society to become like a terrorist Yes, uh, sir, yes, yes. I completely you. agree with you. I When we see the last week, last week news, in that we see that in Israel, Hamas war, there are more than forty people, forty children are died in a single day. That is not at all the good result for the children in Israel, Hamas war. We see that in per day, forty children are died. But in that in that situation, it is really hopeless situation for the children. 
and uh, this hopeless situation leads to they create uh, hatred among the oppo opposition country that will lead to yes. the mindset will be totally corrupted yes. because this of is a very sad situation hey, because the children hey. don't have anything to do here but they are dying means uh, without no any reason they are dying in this uh, so what they have done, done nothing they are just brought to this world they don't even know the world properly and then they are dying at a very such a small age without knowing the world properly so the, the yes. this kind of yes, things no, no. always uh, create a very hatred type of uh, feeling inside them when they yes. grow they, this hatred uh, keeps on accumulating and these tend to form an uh, terrorist organizations and they they, uh, they try to revenge for that country take the, take revenge with that country which has taken lives yes. of their parents so it uh, it always yes. it is a very bad situation for the uh, children samrat yes. i yes, want yes. to add definitely to that, uh, the your point uh, is yes, right it's like, like, like in a war everyone like there are so many victims who are who are like innocent but children are one of the most innocent one that can die yeah, because yeah. they had they haven't they don't even know what have what they have done in their life and they haven't even done anything but yes, still no. yeah many innocent people yes, die uh, but kid, kids we can say that it is the most innocent one that has that yeah, will yeah. suffer yes. due to a war Yes, Navin. Yeah, I want to add one point to that. Uh, that we are very children. Sir, very children. Sir, 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 जो भी आगे चल के ये जो बढ़ेंगे तो जो अंडरवर्ल्ड कंट्री का है वो ग्रोथ है जो अच्छे से हो ना सके तो इसके वजह से बहुत ज्यादा बुरा इम्पैक्ट आता है इवन द हेड ऑफ दिस टेररिस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे जनरली ट्राई ट्राई टू टारगेट दिस चिल्ड्रेन हु हैव लॉस्ट देयर फैमिलीज इन अ वर्ल्ड बिकॉज दे नो दैट दे हैव दिस टाइप ऑफ हेटेड अगेंस्ट दिस कंट्रीज so they can become helpful they can become resourceful for that terrorist organization they can easily brainwash their minds and they can send them to a terrorist attack to that country so this uh, means this upbringing of the children even if they survive the upbringing it becomes very bad for that children and it always leaves a negative impact upon their mindset children are very sensitive uh, their hearts are very sensitive Uh, uh, children grow with uh, love and affection if suddenly these uh, if wars are happening means uh, children mental 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 health will be affected uh, uh, we all discussed right uh, they may lost their parents they will become orphans uh, due to that they will they will face lot of problems like uh, uh, like education uh, they don't they don't get proper education they have to work hard they have to uh, depend on themselves only Uh, at the at the small age only they are becoming independent yeah and yeah. we have already seen these type of things in the terrorist organizations using the small children with um, giving them weapons and sending them to the different countries for doing this different types of terrorist activities like suicide bombing and uh, as we have we all have seen the kasab case also so he was uh, totally brainwashed and he was used as a weapon by the terrorist organization so these activities tends to increase and this war create more and more hatred and they become the reason for some more wars in the future which will happen because as we ha we have already discussed that this will create a trauma in the mind they will develop a hatred towards the each other country so both the countries will have face this impact and even other parts of the world where the wars are not at all happening but they also will get involved in the attacks like in the khalistan scenario we can see that this this issue is having somewhere else but we can see the khalistan ni protests in the canada also so these type of things will happen uh, yes kasab yes i completely agree uh, with you kasab is a because minor because of this because uh, of this the children's will generate ego in their heart because of that uh, most of the children's will become the war will leads to generation to generation by which uh, the people get uh, rated uh, because of they think that uh, my parents are died because of this country i need to take revenge against them so that the children's will take the war continuously and it leads to generation to generation uh, totally we see that that, that kasab is not a major he is a minor uh, he is under 18 years age he involved in the terrorist attacks in the uh, taj hotel bomb blast uh, our friend said na uh, 
in the sma- at the at the young 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 age only uh, these uh, terrorist mindsets are uh, inserting into the children children's mindset uh, the, this will damage his personality uh, if he use if he, if he use if he if he use proper mindset uh, if uh, if he get proper guidance uh, then why, then why why he go for uh, t- uh, terrorism he may go for right direction he needs proper guidance we, yes we, we can to... see the uh, ultimate yeah. result of this kashab in the the, the taj hotel case the, he ultimately got hanged in the uh, uh, here in india so the, we can see that the ultimate result of the children is not very good he was completely brainwashed by the terrorist group in the pakistan and then yes, yes, yes. he uh, and the, the, the what who is at fault the fault is at the children the children <laughs> had to die ultimately the the, the terrorist head he can he might find another ch- child like this who whom he can brainwash again and can send it to so basically the children are at the main uh, are at the main disadvantage they are being hurt the most even if they survive and this hatred tends to develop inside them accumulate <laughs> inside them to become a very strong evil yes i should agree with you can so and i should also add one more point it, to the but internal but of the country that, that there are no positive impacts of wars on the children but now can we think about some possible solutions how the children can be saved from these activities like what i think that those countries which are not involved in war they should be coming forward and supporting the education the health care facilities in those countries which which have faced war and then they should means make sure that the development of the children becomes smooth and they should be growing in a good environment so what yeah, are government the, should uh, make uh, more steps towards those children who have uh, lost their parents in the war uh, they should try to do, do counseling t- sessions with them they should try to teach them they should try to inculcate some good values in the, within them so uh, so that they do not accumulate any such uh, bad values against or any such revenge hatred against any country <laughs> so that they do not become uh, a very bad example of that country so the government should take some steps yes Why the remaining to countries come to together and form one alliance target those to provide children the... which are involved in war those parents died in war who became orphan due to war they should be means uh, taken care by the government they should be trained in such a way that they can join the army yes, of yes. that particular country yeah, yeah, yeah. and become resourceful to their country rather than involved going and in, involving in some terrorist activities they can be trained better and their minds are means physically that strong that they can grow in a better environment and become a useful asset for the army of that particular country and they can serve their nation very well yeah. and apart from the, apart from government the the also should come only. forward to help the these needy children some ngos or the societies or the other cultural groups such as uh let's say religious groups also should come forward to fund these children because there is a uh, there are a lot of people out there the, the government should uh, combine all those they should run scheme they should run advertisements so th- there should be a proper adverti- uh, awareness in the uh, among the people also that they should help the needy children who, who have lost their parents in the wars or uh, who have been suffering due to the war okay now can no, not not only it? the countries and remaining all countries also yes. support this yes conclude okay thank you for giving me this opportunity to conclude this gd session we have already t- we had a very good discussion regarding different point different, different negative impact we found some positive means how we can move how can the moving forward of the war should happen so we find that uh, this have all the negative impacts on their mind making the, uh, their childhood a trauma for them their life should become very hard to live they are not able to grow pop- properly their infrastructure is not that good that the children are supported properly but we have come to conclusion that the con- countries which are not involved in war they should focus on the development of those countries infrastructure who are involved in war and the uh, governments of those countries should make sure that the children don't go into the wrong direction they should be properly counseled and they should be properly means trained and they should be involved means uh, uh, grown in such a way that they can be useful for their country thank you Okay, so let me give you the feedback now, uh, friends. So this uh, uh, discussion which we had, uh, I, I think this. Uh, uh, let let me first give you the individual feedback to each one of you. 
so navin started the discussion and uh, he was talking uh, navin you should have given the direction to the discussion you introduced the topic but direction to the discussion must have been given what you want others to discuss i mean what discussion you want others to do that is very very important and uh, navin also said that most of you are talking about after post war but let's talk about during the war what is happening navin kept on speaking in between also he participated so the kind of participation required that is okay from navin said the way he spoke is also good there is also not a problem but uh, uh, you know uh, the kind, kind of content which was required and the format of the introduction was not appropriate so you should have given better format navin that is required format should have been better like uh, uh, introduction about format you want to follow that format by classification and given discussion direction to the discussion that have been better that is there right just give me a second now huh? give me a second okay. this uh, uh, you know classification the discussion that uh, format uh, you should have given that particular format the, the format was missing i mean Uh, in which direction you yes, want sir. all other people to discuss i mean the topic is war are most ruthless for children so why you think it is ruthless and uh, in what dimension it is ruthless let's give some kind of example and if it is there then what can be the solution for that so let's friends discuss about that and maybe the best introduction would have been like friends let me uh, initiate the discussion for all of uh, for the group so the topic given for the discussion is wars are most ruthless for children friends what uh, i agree with the statement and what i believe is like you know, wars are ruthless for everyone especially for children why it is uh, uh, you know ruthless for children specifically because at the end whosoever dies in the uh, war child is going to uh, uh, you know bear the brunt of that child is going to have repercussion on that and also there in that age group where uh, psychological and physical development gets affected Uh, so i think we should discuss this entire topic in the categories of uh, why wars are most ruthless for children and what can be the solution for that now i open the house for the discussion and uh, i'm very sure all of us will give lot of examples like uh, what is happening presently in gaza and uh, majority of uh, those who are getting killed or suffering are children so now i open the house for the discussion so that would, would have been the best introduction direction you have to give after that today dola spoke a lot that is good uh, but dola the kind of uh, topic uh, the discussion the uh, content which you give like um, radioactive substance nagasaki and all no that is long back uh, and not only that it is not directly linked to uh, affecting the children because you know that time many people got killed uh, lakhs of people got killed so how it is most ruthless for children that was not proved dola mm -hmm. so whenever you have to give some example make it sure you are very close to the topic topic was wars are most ruthless for children so the good thing is like you spoke a lot later on you said that children become terrorist but you need to make it a link that when they see the aggression from the foreign country and they see their near and dear one getting lost so they somehow develop the hatred for a particular country and then in the return they tend to become the terrorist we have seen that wherever there is a armed force special power act going on army uh, you know uh, using these kind of special provisions so uh, you know in collateral damage sometime uh, innocent people get uh, lose their lives so their children then develop some kind of hatred for army or uh some country and then eventually they uh, fall in the trap of terrorist so that way dola you should have said but yes it was good uh, from your side today you participated more today siddhant said okay uh, even those who are watching on the tv gets affected but siddhant that is not a problem why because you can always uh, stop children from watching like if i my child i'll not let them watch it so that was not the main point siddhant Mm, also uh, you said they get a nightmare uh, they are unhealthy mm, they they uh, get it so we should avoid children from this you can't avoid children from war you know what uh, people in Phil uh, palestine they will do to avoid chil children from war i mean this is forced on them and uh, after countries get uh, involved so siddhant you kept participating your strength is that you speak and you participate the way but content is uh, to be your content was away from the topic who they said okay uh, so children uh, are basically because uh, becomes orphans even the uh, when when you know the they die when they uh, some soldier die his child become orphan or not only soldier whosoever dies in the war his kids become orphan and eventually 
if parents die then also child is suffering child dies then he is suffering child becomes injured he is suffering so whosoever dies child is eventually uh, you know because he is dependent upon someone so uh, uday is good in speaking but uday you have participated less so you have not participated the kind of participation which is required you have to speak more uh, though your point was relevant but you have spoken very less aman uh, participated he said war uh, uh, may adult get killed and uh, that eventually leads to the problem uh, to the children how children are to be rescued that is to be seen infrastructure gets deteriorated so aman when you were talking about uh, infrastructure and all you should have been very meticulous how it is going to affect child when you say infrastructure school gets school building collapse and all these things so child eventually cannot learn because he is in that age group where he is learning but when school infrastructure gets get uh, you know lost then child cannot uh, get trained something like that and aman you need to uh, participate more and uh, uh, i think you need to uh, uh, jot down more points i mean you have given the points but uh, it can be even better it can be improved uh, among participation thodi si badhao aapko badhani padegi though you were talking uh, sense you were talking relevant then samrat said long duration wars uh, long duration wars have more impact on child children and uh, they believe that nev they have never seen the peace and then when they have never seen the peace they don't know the other side of the world and quarrelsome nature they become quarrelsome they, they develop hatred they become you know their upbringing is something which makes them different kind anti social or a social kind of individual so samrat ke points were uh, very relevant actually the most relevant points were given by samrat in the discussion so observer will see that this guy is giving very relevant points and the marks will be given and samrat kept on participating also so samrat your way is okay keep uh, improving it and uh, rel points were relevant Hari said, "Okay, uh, he gave the example of uh, Israel-Hamas war. I told you earlier also that if you want to score good, give as many examples as possible and relevant examples. So, if you give example of uh, presently Gaza Strip, me what is happening, Israel versus Gaza and all, that is most relevant. Or Ukraine war or Syria war, that is relevant rather than Hiroshima and Nagasaki of nineteen forty-five. So that is the way. So Hari gave example, but Hari, you are not spoken as much. The participation was less." do whatever you said that made a sense uh, hari but uh, aapka participation bahut kam tha then karnam said okay mental health gets affected and that is also to be taken care of and we should uh, talk about uh, we should uh, provide them you know uh, some kind of children uh, mental health is uh, the main affected navin later on uh, also talked about you know uh, what can be the solution for this and all and you started discussing about the solutions also so uh, karnam you need to participate more आपका पार्टिसिपेशन कम था हरी का पार्टिसिपेशन कम था सो सम सम पीपल हु डिड गुड वाज लाइक नवीन टॉक्ड एंड सम्राट टॉक्ड दे दे वर टॉकिंग एंड देन डोला राजू पार्टिसिपेटेड सिद्धांत आल्सो स्पोक बट इट वाज लिटिल इररेलेवेंट देयर उदय पार्टिसिपेटेड बट उदय का थोड़ा सा पार्टिसिपेशन कम था सो मे बी नवीन सम्राट अमन एंड वन मोर फेलो ही विल पास actually but karnam ko pass nahi karega hari ko pass nahi karega wo and uh, then uh, you know uh, i think these two will be in the red zone as of now the green zone will be uh, navin samrat and aman uh, they will be on the green zone others on the border like siddhant uday dola will be on the border so aman uh, navin and samrat may be on the green side and hari and karnam will be on the red side and uday siddhant and dola raju will be on the border this way or that way that is how it is now uh, you know many points have come but uh, you should understand the main important point why they are the ruthless for children because they are helpless they are dependent upon others they are in that age group where growth is there psychologically and physical when you see the war you do not get distracted or disturbed but when they see the war they have seen it something first time they get traumatized trauma aa jata hai usko shock aa jata hai mental development physical development and war mein infrastructure khatam ho jata hai so they cannot go to the schools also so their learning gets obstructed even if their parents die they are the sufferers they die they are the sufferer they get injured they are the sufferer they are depend dependent upon someone so sometimes they get in the hands of you know anti social people and the rest of the lives get spoiled so these are some of the reasons you know they can't get medicines and all these things also in the war now your resistance is less their resistance is less so all these things if you put uh, together you'll find that the children are the most you know because they have not seen the life also if some old fellow dies okay he has seen some uh, life 
If the young fellow dies, even if he is seen some life, but when the child dies, he has not seen any life. So, he is dependent, he is helpless, he is in that age group where their psychological and physical development is taking place. They are not getting socialized, they get traumatized, their schools and all these things get hampered. So, because of that, children, you know, you need to understand that they are the most uh, ruthless for them. And then what should be done? Name United Nation, name United Nation, UNICEF, you name some organization, we should come to their rescue, some bodies, NGOs, we should help. So, you know, countries, uh, they should be rescued properly, even if attack is to be done. You give example, like Gaza, may whatever is happening, the uh, Israel may be against Hamas, not the children. So why they are killing children? So let them give some passage so that they should be on one side and then Hamas could be. So this is how you have to give some examples. You all should, uh, should uh, provide some examples so that things could be discussed better. Right? So that's all from my side. Now, any question you have? Sir, just one example ke time, I took the example of the time Afghanistan ka naam le liya tha, ki wo dost Afghanistan. Se tha. To aisa, matlab, naam le sakte hai, direct ya nahi le sakte hai? ले सकते हैं कोई डबल नहीं डिपेंड करता है तुम किस तरीके से नाम ले रहे हो कब ले रहे हो तो इसमें तो कोई गलत नहीं था सर यूजिंग कसाब्स नेम एंड दिस स्टोन पेल्टिंग इन कश्मीर एंड ऑल दीज आर फाइन और यू कैन यूज दैट नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम आई मीन कसाब वाज अ टेररिस्ट डिक्लेयर्ड एंड देन ही वाज यू नो ही वाज हैंगड एंड यू कैन सी द कसाब वाज मेंटली दैट ब्रेन वॉश इज डन ऑफ दिस uh, because of consistent war, this is the outcome actually it comes. But that is not a result of war. That is a, a Pakistan using the, you know, this as a state tool, terrorism as a state tool. That is a, a related to that actually. War to nahi hui India, Pakistan ke vich mein. Cold war ka result hai. Uh, sir, hmm. uh, jaysa ye topic mein na, uh, bot, to malab, bot points ban nahi re pa re the. To aisa koi topic aaya jab point ban nahi pa re hai. Malab, Yes, sir. At the time of discussion, like it was, it was looking like we are discussing about the same thing only. It mental no, health and physical practice. health about this. Lack of this practice only. and uh, lack of uh, presence of mind there. You need to have presence of mind. Think of examples. I told you always, think of examples. What example you can give? And think of different dimensions in which you can you know, cover the topic. Right? Chalo then I think uh, I have given you the feedback. Revise it. Do it as much as possible. And that is the only mantra. Practice will only make you perfect. Sir, one right? thing. Uh, sir, one thing. Uh, sir, in the real uh, GD, sir, do they allow us to write something on a sheet of paper? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. You can write. You have pen and paper. You can write. Okay. 